are just starting uh, the implementation for uh, an IMLS grant that we received to relocate one of our storage facilities in the state of Colorado um, to consolidate here in Denver. And the project uh, was written to uh, pack and move from a location in Pueblo to Denver. The project just started about three weeks ago, so we are really ramping up and getting into sending out trucks and building pallets and crates and um, getting everything started. Well, I think really it started uh, four years ago. Um, I was part of a crew um, that worked through the fall uh, over a six month period. We went through this warehouse. Um, we uh, uh, organized it, cleaned all the artifacts, um, uh, put some things on pallets, uh, uh, some things on shelves. Um, that was that was the initial phase, and now uh, History Colorado received uh, another grant to fund this phase of the project, which is the actual uh, palletizing and shipping up to Denver. The grant was written so that we could. Um, consolidate so that we could promote better collection stewardship. Um, one of the ideas for us to better care for the collection is to have hands on everything, to have an inventory, you have good records. Um, and for our, our Pueblo facility, it's a little bit difficult for us to do that. It's two hours away. Um, so if we want to have access to something for research, for exhibits, etc., we have to drive two hours one way just to go and either pull something bring it back or even to just look at it. So there are extra costs involved, extra time involved, and it's just inhibitive for us to provide better access and better care for the collection. We have a crew of uh, four people uh, working on this project um, and we uh, all have uh, very similar roles. Um, I'm the uh, supervisor of the project but um, I'm also uh, a crew member. What we've been hired to do is use our um, knowledge and our experience to safely handle museum uh, artifacts. It's not a simple moving job because History Colorado could have just hired movers to do that. Uh, we've been hired because of our backgrounds in uh, museums and museum collections to, uh, to do it safely and, and properly. At History Colorado, we've conducted several moves in the last couple of years, and our strategy has been to palletize and crate things so that they're up off of the floor in case of um, emergency or disaster, and um, that facilitates uh, ease of movement. You can use pallet jacks and forklifts to move things around. You can rack them. Um, so we have pallet racking to store a lot of things. So the Pueblo facility um, was, um, and the project to move it was planned to um, to just slip right into the same uh, workflow that we have for everything else. We have a timeline of uh, five months to, to, uh, to complete uh, the, the uh, palletizing and, and moving portion of the project. I believe the warehouse is about 20,000 square feet. Um, it has very uh, high ceilings, so uh, the shelving uh, in the warehouse is uh, taller than, than most warehouse shelving to take advantage of that, uh, that ceiling height. Uh, give or take a little bit for um, sets and parts, et cetera. Um, we're looking at about 6,000 records that we plan on moving up here. That does not include approximately uh, 600 boxes of archeological materials that we are also moving up here. Um, so it's, it's quite a lengthy project. We are concentrating on the larger artifacts to start with, so the numbers might not be that impressive um, initially, but um, I believe that um, in general we're probably moving about three or four hundred items a week. For the most part, it's going to be uh, furniture uh, uh, to start with. We've got some uh, fixtures, household fixtures like uh, sinks and, and plumbing fixtures, uh, tubs. Uh, we have uh, some uh, mining equipment, uh, agricultural uh, farm equipment. Uh, we have 
appliances like uh, stoves and washers and dryers, um, toasters and ovens, radios and TVs. Um, got a lot of lamps and light fixtures. Um, so it really is um, a little bit of everything that you find in a history museum. We are generally using um, enclosed uh, semi-tractor trailers, uh, 53 foot long trailers. Um, so we've determined that there are a certain number of pallets that will fit um, in a 53 foot trailer. And uh, we are uh, attempting to um, load up uh, at least one trailer a week. Um, when we uh, get farther into the project, uh, we may be uh, loading uh, two trailers a week. Some of the special challenges that we are going to have is that some of these objects are very uh, heavy and awkward, and so it's it's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge to use uh, our lifting equipment that we have here to uh, get these things safely loaded onto pallets and, and out of the building. But uh, I'm pretty confident that, that we'll be able to uh, accomplish it all uh, in a safe manner and uh, on time and uh, in, uh, within budget.